Welcome to a video from the DieselLifes.com. In this video, I want to show some of the changes to Windows Mixed Reality in Windows 10 19H1. 19H1 is the code name for this update to Windows 10, which will probably release sometimes in, in April, maybe called the April update, you know, April 18, a, April 19 update, or the uh, 1903 update, something like that. So here I am in my Skyloft, and um, first of all, when I move my controls around, you'll notice I get these little white handles, they're handles to resize objects so I can grab and resize objects like that. Those handles weren't there before um, so that's a new thing that I spotted straight away. The other thing I noticed as well is you've got this adjust here um, it's like a grab, a grab control and then I can set, put this down and puts it there or I can pick it up and you can actually say pick it up so it allows you to, to move the object around and place it back wherever you want and I can drag it down. So these resizes, it's more like a floating control than previously. It's floating around, I think I'll put it there, drop it there, and then put it there like that. So that's one of the changes. The other thing that's changed is uh, start menu and to be able to run old Windows 32 classic Windows desktop apps on here as well. So let's look at the start menu. Here you can see, well, I don't know whether you, obviously you're watching this on uh, on YouTube in 2D, but in 3D these are the app icons and they float out above it. it almost like these are slightly raised, not even raised, but actually further um, towards me than this back is. And this, all oh, this back has changed as well, you can, you can see that looks different as well. Um, so they're flat and they're raised and the text is slightly raised on them as well. And the text doesn't actually fit. You can see at Microsoft Edge it's bigger than the text below it. So it's like three layers. Um, I feel like I could walk around it but obviously I can't because if I move it, it moves with me. Uh, but I feel like I could walk and see these at the side. So that's another, another change on there. Uh, and if we go to the all apps list you can see these are flat but again more uh, stretched out with some of the icon and then the text so no um, large icons for those you've got that way so this is that new look start menu now I mentioned about um, classic apps I also want to show you in a second how you can run apps within apps which I'll show you in a minute. but if I go down right down to the bottom here this is just new in this uh, build well, we are on 18, uh, 3 to 9. I can go to Classic Apps Beta, and here you can see some traditional Windows apps that I've installed. So if I go here to Classic Apps Beta, and it shows me Classic Apps. These are I don't I haven't picked these. These are ones it's installed. So I've got Microsoft Office, some Logitech controller for a uh, key for a steering wheel. Uh, Alt Space is a Win32 version of it. There's also a UWP version or Steam version actually I should say uh, but that's not the, the and these are like an Nvidia driver so these are your standard Windows apps so Excel is a good example of that so I can hit hit on uh, Excel it's a bit flickery but there we go it's going to fire up Excel now let's see what that does but there we go there's Excel um, and activity on this machine there you go, I'm using Excel. So this isn't any uh, special mobile version or a UWP version, this is the full desktop version with all the things you'd expect. So I can have Excel there and um, I could have Word next to it. I don't think I've got Word in store. This is my gaming machine that I'm using here. But I could have Word and uh, I could have OneNote and other stuff. So there you go, you can see I've got the full desktop version of OneNote and um, full desktop version of Excel, UWP app, I can just load as many things as I want and the only difference seems to be in fact there isn't any difference so this is a, a, a Windows app, UWP app, modern app, store app and there isn't any difference I can resize and move it around and do everything else that I wanted to do I can make it follow me around like this um, so I don't have any limitations there so really now you can have multiple machines you can have, you know you can have all likes like having multiple monitors you can have all over the place you can have all your applications sized to however you want obviously you've still got to use a keyboard and mouse if you're inputting numbers and a lot of work in there but you've got the on-screen text keyboard and uh, you've got Cortana as well 
So those are the new UW, or the new desktop apps. It is a bit hit and miss while recording this video. I've had a couple of errors and I don't know where this list is. I know that's a bit UWP app, so I'm not quite sure how these uh, are picked up. The um, NVIDIA um, drivers was the NVIDIA GeForce experience. I tried loading that and that didn't do anything, but it's not a traditional full sort of Windows app. It's kind of, it's got its own UI, so I suspect that's why. It, and it is beta, as Michael was saying. But this is good news that these are coming into it. Now, something else which is which is new, which you can do, is you can run it from immersive apps. You, you don't have to go back to the Cliff House or the Skyloft to run the next app. You can actually run them all together. So I'm going to load an immersive app now and show you. App. It's an immersive app. You have a full 360 view. I hit the Windows key. I don't get the old in the previous in the first version of Windows, which I think just dumped me back to Windows Desktop. In the in the last version, the October update, you've got a little mini menu. Now you get the full start menu, and I can load a standard Windows app like that. Now it's got me a black screen. Now this is a bug currently. I should be back in this app now with this as well. Oh, there we go. It's working now. So there you go. See, it's a bit hit and miss, um, but that's a, a, an app within the full app, which is pretty cool as well. I guess you could even bring desktop apps up. I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. So I've got a UWP app there, I've got the full version of Excel there, although it's not actually loaded, and I'm still in the immersive app. Uh, these are following me around, so let's, let's pin them. So it's a bit hit, hit me, this, U, this um, Excel is not working, and you see how it freezes. But the UWP app is working, so you can be in the full app, immersive app, and still read Twitter or watch a video or whatever you want to do, and you've got full access to everything on here. Pretty, pretty good actually. That's a, a nice new feature. Let's go back to the uh, home. So those are the changes that I've found so far. It's got this new look. We can run Windows 32 apps in beta, but it obviously will get there eventually. We can have apps within apps, uh, apps within immersive apps, and you've got this new style UI style that you can see on here. So a lot, a lot of nice work done by the Wix Reality team. You can find out more on thejustlifestyle.com. You can get me on Twitter at iStixon. Thanks for watching.